Previously on Loot Links Brighton. Come on, boys. We made it. We absolutely made it. And we're on the train. Something different today. Look, we're going to Bournemouth. It's a massive game. We've got the energy drink. We're getting started on the high after, you know, a disappointing result in the last game against AEK. But today is a different day. Today is the Premier League. It's not Europa League. The pressure's off. And we're playing a team that hasn't won all season yet. So it's a big game today. And uh, we are on our way to the Amex Stadium right now on the train. A little something different. We're on the train, boys and girls. Living it up like a proper supporter would going to the match so yeah you're going to get a little montage of a different build up to a video so let's get on with it and let's get on to walking to the ground to the Amex Stadium for this big match on this Premier League day We made it, we made it on the train, we made it, we're at the platform in Falmar with the background, everyone's making their way to the game, we're here at the Amex Stadium as you can see, absolutely buzzing for today, do you know why, because I honestly think today we're going to bounce back, we're going to hit Bournemouth, all forces, I know we have a lot of injuries, I know this, but hopefully we see the boys perform and bounce back from that loss, today my score predictions are going to be 3-0 to the Albion. I think today is a bounce back. We're going to do so well and we're going to hit ourselves and get another three points to get us racking straight at the top again in the Premier League. Today is a South Coast matchup here, Brighton versus Bournemouth. Let's go on to the fan cam to see what the Brighton fans think of today's match. La Baja. Okay, we're here with some Bournemouth fans today. Guys, look, first of all, tell me your names and tell me your score predictions for today. Uh, I'm Jacob. I don't know, depending on the lineup we put out, I think 3-1 cool. Brighton. Brighton. Yeah. What do you think today? What's your name and your score prediction, sir? Uh, I'm Dave. Uh, I'd love to be more confident, given that Brighton, I'm hoping, are going to be tired after the European match. But honestly, I can't see us getting any better than 3-0 down, if wow. I'm honest. You've got to have more confidence, oh, guys. Yeah, You've got to have yeah, more confidence. Love to be confident. Yeah. We're a work in progress. Yeah. I was just saying to you a minute ago, last time we were here yes. was the 5-0 win. That was dreamland. We're not there yet. We're a work in progress. Yeah. Um, I mean, look, if you could give us a, a threat to look out for today, a player that we should be looking out for. Semenyo. Semenyo. If he comes yeah. on. I love Semenyo. Yeah. Uh, Kirkes, our left okay. back. Me and yeah. Dad love him. So. Yeah. He's, he's brilliant, he's a great player, I hope he stays Bournemouth, but, <laughs> yeah. you know, Semenyo, I think if he comes on he, and he gets a chance, um, sure. better he's than sure. Solanke. You've had a quite a good transfer market, I would have said, really. Yeah, you brought yeah. some players in, you definitely have upgraded your squad. Um, will you guys stay up this season, do you reckon? I think I think we'll, I think we'll stay up. Yeah. Um, always, we spend our time looking at, are there three worse teams than us? And I think there are. Yes, um, I think there are. How much further up, I think, a good couple of places yeah. be, be below the below the uh, relegation zone. I don't think it's going to be easy for us. We've had a really difficult start. We're showing improvements on last year. Anything anything above sort of you know 18. Yeah. <laughs> I mean fair play, fair play. Look guys, you are literally our last South Coast team. So I hope you do stay up. But really good to meet you nice all. You. Thank, yeah, you nice much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, Flynn. We want to know, as a big, big Brian fan, and you're a big fan of the channel, aren't you, Flynn, as well? What is your score predictions today? Um, 
my score is Shinsu 3 1 Brighton. And who is your goal scorers? Antu Fatty, um, Sawley March, and Carl Spaliba. Who is your favourite Brighton player? Well, it used to be like Jason Still, but now I got into like Antu Fatty because he's too, like really good for the, like Barcelona. He's the biggest talent for Barcelona. He is. So, he's a big player. So it's going to be tough, and, and I'm going to say to Bottom fans who are watching this, you have to watch out for and see Fatty because he will punish you, right? like, like Man United. Oh, we love that, Flynn. We absolutely love that. Big fist bump, and can we get an up the Albion? Come on, Albion. Yeah, Flynn, love that, Flynn. Right, we need to introduce a big Bournemouth vlogger today. Introduce yourself, what is your channel? Cherry's Red Army, Kirk here, Army. Bournemouth fan. Great stadium, great club, Brighton. Looking forward to the fixture. The last yeah. South Coast team in the Premier League. Southampton, they bottled it, yeah. but Bournemouth is still here. Bournemouth still, and I hope you do stay up this season as well. What do you reckon today then? What's going to happen? Obviously, we've just come off on a loss. Um, I can't remember your last result, but um, I don't believe you've won yet this season. Could it be your first time today? We haven't won yet. No. We're getting close. We draw last time 0 0 with Chelsea, yes. which they're a bit flaky at the moment, yeah. but it was. Still, it was still a good draw. We've brought a lot of players in, nine new signings. Alex Scott not fit yet, Tyler Adams not fit yet, so the best is yet to come. But we said in these first seven fixtures, it's been a tough calendar for us that if we get any points out of this, it'd be great. We've got three on the board. Yep. I take a point today. Yep. I feel like there is something here for the Cherries. Definitely. Brighton are a very good side. I know you lost on Thursday, but you've got some talented players. I'm hoping the likes of Evan Ferguson's not fit and Lewis no. Dunk. No. But you're a brilliant side. If you win, I think you'll probably win, you know, in a, in a great style. But I'm hoping it's a good game and yeah. we take you as far as we can. Brilliant stuff. Who is the threat today? Who have we got to watch out for? If he's fit, like he was against Chelsea, Marcus Tavernier, please Tavernier. look out for him. Tavernier. Philip Billing hasn't found his shooting boots yet, but he's no. playing in a deeper role. Ryan Christie works hard. Dom Solanke, has got two goals for us this season. Yeah, Solanke. So, yeah. need to get him firing in the box a little bit more often. And, yeah, that's the threat from me. Maybe Sinistera starts for the first time. Okay. Interesting stuff. So I was going to say, yeah, you've had a good transfer market and you've definitely built, built on it. Um, big up, big up. Um, but yes, what do you think then? Where are you going to be at the end of the season? And also I want to know, where do you think Brighton are going to be as well? I mean, you're doing very well. Yeah. I think it was always going to be a test how you deal with the European competition, new to your calendar in the season, but I think you'll be right up there. I mean, I'm listening to the radio this morning and they're talking about you challenging for top four. So good luck with you for that, because I think you're, you've got a great model and a great football club and Bournemouth are very much looking at that oh, in our new ownership. For us, once we get through this tough spell, we've got some winnable games in October. We'll be absolutely fine once we get some of these really good players back fit. 12th, 13th is, is an improvement on last season. I don't think we'll be in a relegation scrap. No, I don't think so, and I hope not either. No, and I just hope we get another point on the board today, or a little bit more if we're lucky enough. It'll be, uh, it'll be a good start to the season. Fantastic stuff, really good. Tony, what we got? What we got? We've gone in the shop and we've bought a European scarf, mate. Show us the other side. We want to see it. There's the other side for you. Look, oh, I'll model this for you, mate. The, look. the model, the oh, Tony model. model for you. There we oh, yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that, mate. Love that, mate. Right, the last time we had you boys on, it was Luton. But today is Bournemouth. And some would say another easier side today. Are we going to get a result out of today, boys? Well, I think we are, because last time we beat them in the last minute, but it might be a very hard game. And they haven't been too bad. They've just drawn against Chelsea. Uh, what do you think is going to happen today? Yeah, I think we're going to bounce back from uh, Thursday night. Um, it's going to be a tough game, but I just think once the goals start going in, it will suit what we need. And 4-0, I'm going for today. We, we, we've got the good luck in the Premier League as well. So, you know, it's a different competition to what we've just had. I'd like to forget about it now, to be honest. But who is your favourite player? And Sue Fatty. And Sue Fatty. And who's going to score today? And two, two for Andy Fetty and two for Matoma. We absolutely love that, boys. Thanks for coming on. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Right, we're with Albie and Theo. Guys, boys, what do we think today? What's happening? Are we winning after our loss in the Europa League? Is it going to be a good result today? Love that. I think we're going to win 3 0 today. 3 0 today. What do you think? I think we're going to win 3 1. 3 1 today. And for the Bournemouth fans watching, who is the threat that they should look out for? Who's a good player in Brighton? 
I think Jao Pedro and Ferguson. Okay. Uh, Jao Pedro and Ferguson as well. And who is your favourite Brighton player? Uh, Ferguson. Ferguson. Jao Pedro. Jao Pedro. Boys, thank you for coming on. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Well, hey, Terry, really good to meet you. Thank you. You've just had your grandsons on. Yeah. Now, I want to know, how long have you been a Brighton supporter for? Uh, 11 years since the oldest grandson was born. Wow. But 64 years supporter of Liverpool. Oh, a Liverpool fan. Okay, so you slightly like local team Brighton and then main team Liverpool? Brighton is everybody's second club because of the way they play. Oh, okay. I, for, club. For, me, it's, for me, it's first. Yeah, but after 64 years, Liverpool's yeah. the first for me. So are you from Liverpool then? No, Colchester. Okay, and have you had a season ticket ever in the Anfield? Uh, not that sort of money. No, no. Not that sort of money. But today is Albie's 11th birthday. Well, no, next week. Yes. So we bought him six tickets for all of us to come up. So. Brilliant stuff. Now, obviously, we've got, we've got Bournemouth today. And what do you think is going to happen today in Bournemouth? Well, I think, I think Brian are going to win it probably 3 yeah. or 4 nil. They're playing wonderful football. Yeah. Bournemouth are struggling. Mm. That's what I want. Yeah. It'll be close to it. Yeah. It'll be close to it. But Terry, look, it's good to chat with you. you. Really good to uh, chat with you. You've made my boy's day by me oh, coming on. Oh, no. Well, you've made my day coming on. Brighton. Thank yeah. you very much, my friend. See you later. Thank you. Really. Okay. So we were just chatting about the injury issue. Will it hurt us today? Yeah, I reckon it will. I'm not that confident. No. What's going to happen today? I reckon it'd be really, I reckon we'll struggle. Yeah. Uh, I'm, like, I'm going to go for a 1 0 win. I'm trying to keep positive as well, but side of me does think that we will struggle today just because of the injuries do you think Dunk will, will come back today though because obviously he had a bit of an injury they didn't really know if he was going to come back will he come back today no no your preferred centre back role I know we're talking about specifically here but centre back role who would you prefer because I know that's what we struggled with defensive wise in the last game who would you put in the defence to help out today better Probably Webster Webster yeah you try him yeah. bit of difference anyone maybe would you put Purvis opinion back where he should be? Yeah. Yeah. And what about Lamptey? Do you think he played well in last game? Oh yeah, he played amazing. He played with the match by far. Yeah. And he's got the pace as well, so it's Definitely. always good. So do you think he should be playing over Milner? Because Milner's been starting, but when Lamptey came on, I think he's played really well, do you think? Yeah, Lamptey definitely to start. Milner's getting on a bit with his age, yeah. so... Yeah, that is true. He's getting injuries as well, isn't he? But thanks for coming on. Really appreciate it. All right, we're with the main man. We haven't seen you in ages, mate. Know, it's, it's been, been so long. But you've always been on the channel commenting. I really appreciate you, mate, because look, today's a big one, but you've travelled here today from London, right? Yeah, not far from London. Yeah, Essex. Today is an interesting one. We do not have Matoma starting today, but we have Lewis Dunk starting today. It's a bit of a different one for us. But what do you think is happening today? We've just come off a loss, right? And you're coming as a neutral, I believe, in the away end in Bournemouth. Interesting. But what's going to happen today? I think it's going to be an interesting one. The bench for Brighton is very strong. So yeah. if Deserby makes some subs in the second half, they can really change the game and impact it. I'm glad Evan Ferguson's starting. He's yeah. always got a goal in him. He smashed my team, Newcastle. So, yeah, he's been absolutely fantastic. The Argentinian guy, Buenanote. Yeah, yeah Buenanote, yeah. He looks absolutely brilliant so far from what Ooh. I've seen of him. Interesting to see Estupinian back in the side as well. But, yeah, we'll see. Absolutely love to see it. Obviously, we're having a bit of a switch up with the goalkeepers as well. Bart for Brogan starting. Um, but, yeah, it's an interesting game today. But as a neutral, where do you see both of these teams heading at the end of the season? What place? Do you know what? It's an interesting one because most people will probably say Bournemouth to go down or be near the relegation zone. I can see them finishing just below mid-table. As for Brighton, originally in, my, in one of my videos I said 8th place, yeah. which I actually think I regret. I think they'll be a little bit higher okay. because in the Premier League you've still been fantastic. You know, back-to-back -back wins against yeah. Man United and Newcastle have been really good. I would say probably 6th or 7th. Um, which I think you'd probably take. Would you, would you take that? Definitely take that. Yeah, 100%. Give a shout out to your channel, obviously, the Match Day Experience. Give a little shout out, give a little plug. Thank you very much. So basically, I go around different stadiums and rate my Match Day Experience called the Match Day Experience. So thank you very much, Luke. But not only in this country, you go away abroad, right? Yeah, a couple of times. I've been to Germany. I went to Germany last weekend and next weekend I'm going to Copenhagen. So yeah, that would be quite nice. Big stuff coming away on the Match Day Experience. Go on the YouTube channel, subscribe to them, follow them. Mate, appreciate thank you coming on. Too, really good. Thank you. Thank you. All right, boys, we're here with the music. The vibe is coming because today is a match day again. What's happening? Uh, I think it's going to be a very tough match. Bournemouth are going to try win it by.
but I think we are going to win 2-1. 2-1. Uh, I'm not feeling that confident. I'll go 0-0 nil, nil, or 1-0 then. I think they're going to sit back. OK, well, it's interesting to see. It's interesting to see. Boys, I want you to give, for the camera, a big up the Albion. Up the Albion! Up the Albion! Yeah. Stop, man, Harry. We're in the building, outside the building, with Statman Harry. He's going to give us a stat, because he's Statman Harry. Let's give it right now. Harry, we're here. We are. We are here, once again. A, a, bit of a, a bit of a cloud over our heads at the moment. The reason why, we haven't generally got a cloud over our heads, but we have a cloud over our heads because we just lost. So it's a bit dark and blue, gloomy at the moment. It was a very wet day in the Amex Stadium, wasn't it, Thursday, Thursday night? But here, today, Hopefully, things will change. The bounce back. So, my stat for today is that Bournemouth's goalkeeper Neto has one of the best ratios for saving goals in the Premier League. I think it's the best of any goalkeeper in the league. 75.4% of all saves out of 100%. So, that's quite a consistent rate of saving goals and things like that. So, he's keeping his side in it for quite a lot of the season. And also, Bournemouth have only scored four goals all season. So, that's something okay. that we can really capitalise on. Hopefully. Okay. Yeah, they've not even won a game yet as well this season. But yeah, Brazilian Neto, didn't know that about that, mate. I didn't know about that. But for the camera, I want you to give a big up the Albion. Up the Albion. Up the Albion. All right, we're with, should we call him, Statman Zach, because he's got a stat for us. Yeah. What, is your, what is your stat today, Zach? We're looking to win five, five in our opening six top fleet matches to, in the season for the first time. For the first time. Yeah. That is incredible. Yeah. And will it happen today, Zach? Yes, it will. Today, yes. Wow. So what is your score prediction? It's going to be a difficult game because yeah. uh, I think it's going to be 2-0. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be 2-0 Brighton, Pedro and Matoma. Is it not going to be easy because we lost the last game, do you think? Because I think I think it's, I think it's because we've got a lot of injuries going with Dunk, Milner, yeah. and Fer well, Ferguson's ill and... Um, Gross. And well, yeah. Well done, yeah. So I think we, hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll get some players and, and shoot more goals and hopefully we win today, so... Super interview with Zach. Bringing it our way. Thank you, Zach. Cheers. I am sunburnt. Look, I have interrupted this video very, very quickly just to say I apologise for the people I had interviews with that didn't make it in the video. I had so many interviews that generally the video would be 30 minutes long and it's just too long uh, for interviews. I'm literally just repeating the questions for people. So look, listen, from now on to this day, every time I get an interview with someone, it will be guaranteed going on the vlog. I just wanted to apologise and put it out there. So anyways, let's get back to the video. And we'll tell them all that we stand or fall The sausage pile Come on! Oh, come on! Not quite uh, AEK, but uh, not bad, not bad for Premier League crowd Certainly a lot of them there Goalkeeper faffing about, the broken faffing about with the ball. Oh my days! Oh my days! Oh my days! We've had such a poor start as well. We're not threatening at all, giving them way too much space, giving them hope. Oh, whatever. That's all my number nine. Solanke as well. It's an open goal. Open goal. Chips it over the goalkeeper's head. Because the goalkeeper was messing about. Oh, no. You can hear a pin drop as well. Atmosphere's flat. The football at the moment is really flat. Loss of quality. 34 minutes in. It's not doing it for me. There's Dunk! Shoot! Shoot! Oh! Yes! Oh! Come on, Go on, Billy! Yeah! Go on! Go on, Billy! Yes! Well done, Billy! Well done! Yeah!
one of the last chances here. A little free kick for Bournemouth. Better not go anywhere. for a minute but oh. right second half starts and we have Ansu Fati replacing Ferguson and Facundo Brunanote being replaced by Matoma we go on the attack straight away here comes Matoma right over there Yes, we did. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come up. I'm gonna come up to you guys. Here we go. Here we are. Right. Listen up, people. The start of the game. It wasn't it. We weren't playing our football, but I think it was just, you know, getting back into the Premier League swing of things. You know, because we've just come back from a very hyped-up game just two days ago, Thursday, and realistically, today is a different type of game. You know, it's it's you know all of the old. Oh, we, we got someone else here. Hello. Hello. <laughs> we love it, he's getting on, he's getting on. Um, but no, honestly, what a game in the end. We brought our normal form back. We brought, you know, fighting spirit in the second half. Brought Matoma on. As soon as he comes on, it bang, he scores. It's absolutely unbelievable. And another great header. If you remember, Matoma scored a header on this end last time we played Bournemouth to win 1-0. So it's great to see Matoma scoring once again. I bet all you Japanese fans are very happy uh, watching from home. But look, I'm absolutely buzzed. It's a lovely day as well. It's turned out to be very very sunny I don't think the weather can quite decide itself whether it's still you know summer or going into winter but anyways guys look if you did enjoy yourself Bournemouth fans two Albion fans as well please subscribe turn the bell notifications on because it really does help me out massively and we're on the road to 50k okay we really 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 are close so let's get subscribing and um, well look th th there's not even a way end left so I was going to say bye to the uh, Bournemouth fans but they've already gone anyways Brighton fans Brighton fanatics 
It's been your boy, Luton Leeds Brighton. I'll see you in the next video when we talk to fans, see what their reactions are. Let's head into the North Stand. See you later. Yeah, I enjoyed myself.